My name is Brian Eggleston. I'm working with a company called Brycan Automated Systems that's located in Brampton, Ontario. I look after the technology side of the business. I was responsible for the aircraft design and the size of it, the payload that it carries. And we're here today to test an aeroplane uh, called the TD100, which has been designed by the company. It's a, a new, what we call a manned aeroplane. This time the tests are particularly focused on flying in a Planix camera, uh, which is very vital to our future because it gives us a new line of business. A Planix uh, can do many things, not just surface digital mapping, but if you overlay images, it can actually give you a three-dimensional picture as well. So we've been flying quite close tracks, so the images overlap so that they will be able to check the accuracy and see if we can reproduce uh, vertical imaging as well as uh, surface imaging. So TD100 is very light. It has a capability of carrying large cameras uh, relative to others in its class. And we're the first in this size that's been able to handle the Planix camera, which is normally flown on much larger airplanes. We have on board what they call a, a POS, which is an inertial referencing system which allows us, without having to have tilting cameras, to find out accurately where we are on the ground with a surprising degree of accuracy to the point where we can be used for surveying purposes. So there's a whole new line of business that will evolve around that application. Well, choosing a Planix was dead simple. They're, they're world leaders in the field and it was important to us to put their equipment in our aeroplane, but also to marry it with other sensor systems so we could carry several payloads. Uh, in that way, we'll be able to leapfrog uh, some of the existing fixed-wing aeroplanes that fly Planix systems. So we'll be very keen to keep working with the Planix on future developments and integrating those with other sensors. A Planix. Capture everything precisely.